Hi there, Dan Blackburn here. In this installment of Dream, Plan, Execute, I want to talk to you about perseverance. Many people talk about it, but few people use it. All my dreamers, all my believers, tomorrow leaders, if you've been dreaming for all your life, this is your chance. With the number of hours I spend working with youth in the athletic and the academic circles, I'm amazed at how often I hear the word perseverance thrown out there, and yet very few youth know what it means. So although this video is directed to you, the youth, the athlete, it's also directed to our youth leaders. We need to stop the culture of self-entitlement. We're building this environment where we, teach, we are teaching our youth to believe that despite their goals, despite their challenges, and despite whatever it is they're pursuit of, that there's always a backup plan. There's always a second place. And when I see athletes, when I see today's youth battle, they stay committed, they have their goal, they build their team, and they begin moving forward. And when they're about to abandon their dream, I know that they're in a negotiation. They're negotiating with themselves. Do I continue to pursue what I want? Or if it's too uncomfortable, and if it's too much work, do I step back and do I go for the second place? In fact, I see coaches and parents at times asking an athlete if it's too uncomfortable and if you really don't want to do the work, don't worry, we have something else waiting for you. This is killing our youth's dreams. We need to stop this mentality. Our youth need to understand that perseverance only begins when they become uncomfortable. It only starts when they're told no or when they're faced with challenges or adversity. If they're not in that stage, then they never learn how to persevere. And we know in life, it is about perseverance. It's about overcoming obstacles. And there are no second places and there are no backup plans. When we get into the heart of the battle, we have to stay committed to what we want. So let's teach our athletes, let's teach our youth how to find that dream, to find that peace within them that they're connected to and that they're passionate about. And then build the team and build the environment to go and get it and appreciate that they will be uncomfortable. As a dad and as a youth leader, it's incredibly painful to watch my daughter and watch other youth go through the pain and go through the sorrow of failure. And yet, I know that in some level, at many levels, that's one of the greatest gifts that they can learn. There's an enormous strength in watching a group of athletes fail and know that they can still come back the next day and persevere and grow and evolve and learn from those experiences and those mistakes and create something different. That is a part of the journey. The great gift of reaching our end goal is the journey. It's about all of the experiences we have with us. That's what makes, that's what makes us stronger and that's what has us grow. Allow your youth to reach that experience, to have that, to remember and recognize that they can overcome what they want. And if we don't allow our youth to do that, then we're setting themselves up for the ultimate failure. Because life is not about backup plans and it's not about escape hatches. It's about getting into the trenches, finding what you're passionate about and pursuing it with everything you have. And know that if you don't achieve it on your timeline, to continue to work, stay consistent. Because imagine if you abandoned your dream and you were one brush stroke away or one workout away, or one swing of the bat away from reaching the dream. Every single time you step into your environment, make sure that you bring everything you can. Be committed to what you want and recognize that it might be painful and it might be challenging, and that's okay. You're growing, you're getting stronger, and you're moving one step closer to reaching your dream. I'll see you in the next video, and until then, remember, dream, plan, execute. Dreamers, all my believers, tomorrow leaders, if you've been dreaming for all your life, this is your chance.